we see Francis walking in. Ah, Ursula. And we have a. Um, He's fighting for the An Olympic champion, yes. The current female head coach, Zolni Ruska. She won the London 2012 Olymp Olympics. She's also stepping on the mat to help out the team today. So she returned back on the mat today for the team event. It's going to be an interesting, strong team for the Slovenians there. And uh, they're fighting uh, against... Bosnia Herzegovina. Yeah. Right, here we come with the first contest, under 52, to Rani and Konitsny. Rani wasn't competing at the individuals. I haven't seen you, Rani, for a long time. Yes. She was, she's been out for years. Yes. She was a real uh, rising star of the, uh, of the French team uh, a little while ago, and then she just disappeared. Good to see her back. I'm not sure what's happened to Bona. She was fighting at the individuals for France. But I'm sure Rani will make a great entry for the team. She's looking to get something in me was I here, tying it up at the top, which is good. She's really just tall as well. Yeah, just need to get the leg out. And she does. Is, yes. She's holding her. Osakomi with uh, Munigatami. Very strong looking hold she's got on there. And I don't think the Polish athlete is going to escape from this one. Yeah. Trying to take the uh, first win. Now we have Pavia coming on the next one. She just defended her title at the first day of the European Championships in the under 57 kilogram. Here she is versing Podolak from Poland. And there is the hand already. Right on the top. Oh, she's also looking to finish the knee waza. Could be the uh, giving it up. Trying to do some touchy waza instead. Oh! What happened there? Her opponent was walking away and Pavia no Mate obviously hadn't been called. Pavia steamed right in there and threw her opponent, who was taken by surprise. I've never Let's seen see anything that like that. Replay of that. That'd in be minute. great to see replay. I've never yes. seen anything like that in my life. Even Podolak is smiling. I think she knows right. I switched up for that one second. I shouldn't have. There it is. The referee was taken by surprise as well. He didn't expect it. <laughs> That was amazing. But you have to be switched on, on the mat. Yeah. No matter so you can't just walk around when it's Hajime thinking that your opponent will be kind and wait for you to get back to your place and then start with it. That's the perfect example of that. And here is another European champion. Clarissa Benham. And as I mentioned earlier, Zorni Ruska, the Olympic champion in the under 63s in London, London 2012 Olympics, she just tapped on the mat, competing now in under 70. 
And that was a nice Yuko from the French girl in the meantime. It's nice to see her back on the man. Uh, have you not seen her competing since the games? She was, wasn't she? Like, I, maybe haven't, I, haven't seen her. I haven't seen her. Or maybe she was just talking about her coming back on the 70s, but then I think she decided to remain on the coaching scene. And, uh, this is getting rough here for this uh, the Polish uh, girl, Mohamed Segir, to take him a, a roughing up from Clarice. I beg the new the champion. Oh, that was a nice uh, Kosoto Gaki from uh, Mohamed Sega. Almost caught the French champion. You can never relax. Oh, oh beautiful. Kosoto. Uh, she's so strong. And then she's straight. pushing on to Nevaza. Yeah, straight into the Kesagatami. I think it's over now. Yes, I think so too, and that, that means that the uh, French team will be going to the semi-final. They won their three, first three contests, and then we got two remaining. Yes, there it is. Yeah, they've made easy work of uh, Poland, saving their energy for the, the harder matches to come. Slovenia wins this, which pretty much look like they sh they, they won already. Then it's going to be French and Slovenia. Yeah. But nice to see. They both have a strong team, I have to say. I think uh, Zolnia was just thrown for Wazari. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see that now. This is Iman in France in the white gi against uh, Talac, Karolina Talac. In Poland, in the blue, and uh, Iman will want to make a good performance in this team competition because she had such a disappointment in the individual event. She gone out first round, didn't she? Yes, I think she was disqualified. I'm not sure. Something happened. Um, she wasn't happy about it anyway because she there was a. She, she a, got from for a Yuko. If yeah, I'm she did a sitting on the mat for a while. A coach was uh, telling her to stay on the on the tatami as in in protest at something that had happened. Oh yeah, that was a sh yes, you're right. She had a, sh a Yuko and then she got disqualified. So she was quite distraught about that and uh, probably was one of the favourites to, to, to win the title in that category. Oh, absolutely, or at least definitely was a potential finalist or medalist. Yeah. Well, that's I'm that's the sure. beauty of judo, if I can say that. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> you sure. You just if, never know. Yeah, I'm not sure she would have beaten uh, Kim Polly. No, uh, she would have met her at the semi, so... Yeah, Kim Polly is she just... She was uh, on fire. She was on fire the whole competition. Fantastic judo throughout. And our Olympic champion just managed to turn over the, <laughs> the scoreboard by a nice arm look. Oh, she's she turning around. Been, yeah. yeah. She always been strong in Nevaza, so yeah. that's four 0 for Slovenia on mat number two. But we still here, of course, with the French team, who are pretty much dominating the Polish female team this time. under two minutes now and what do we have is the penalties only two for the polish girl and one for the french girl mm. 
Iman looking to try a turnover, but she's not really making any headway with that. Uh, only a half-hearted effort to do it. She's struggling a little bit. No score yet. They both have Shido's. Uh, Talach with two, so if it stays that way, it's going to be a win for the French girl. Another win. <laughs> yeah, but it's not... Uh, it's not a particularly exciting match. It's very tactical. Well, there's a big attack here from Talat. She's countered by uh, Iman, referee called Yuko. Um, may well be changed because it looked to me that Talat had managed to spin it round onto her. A front landed on a front, but uh, Yuko has been given. And the referee's got a better angle than we had, anyway, to decide the score. Surely. another win for the uh, Slovenian team I think that's yes. a 5-0 that is a 5 nil. <laughs> that is a five nil. yes you're that's right a complete <laughs> whitewash there for the Bosnian team uh, so that's an emphatic win as well for the Slovenia that's, that that's going to be a good match France it will and, uh, be a Slovenia. very good match I think that's a good match up it will be a very good we've got Mara Petra. she's also been the judo world for quite a while so going to be a good match up there. So uh, another win for the French here. It's 4-0. Uh, and they're through to, uh, well they were through anyway, <laughs> but uh, through to the semi-final. Iman not looking, no spark really. She struggled in, the, in that match. She did. Did get a score. She might have expected more than yeah. what it was. And uh, the last here one. is uh, Andy O, the champion, in the women plus 70. She must be tired. Individual <laughs> competing yesterday. Uh, I don't know. The uh, there weren't that many uh, athletes in her category. I think there was only eleven or something. Yes, there were eleven of them. Maybe she had three or three contests. If I'm yeah. Although she had to work hard in every match. I yes. think. I think. Uh, I watched a couple of her matches. They they both went the distance. So she had to work extremely hard. Now she's looking arm, for the yes. Udi Garami. she's looking for here. Can she get it? She's given up on that now, trying to get the leg out. No, nope. that's not happening. Referees bringing them up to their feet. No pressure on, uh, on, these, uh, on either of these girls now, contest. Doesn't matter who wins. Oh no. Must be difficult when you're the last one going out and you have to win. <laughs> yeah, oh yes. That's a lot of pressure. When it's two two and it's all depending on you and the team, everybody's depending on you, that yeah. must be really hard. With lots of pressure. And the with a chance for the uh, hold down here if you can get the leg out. And she does. Yes, she secured it. It's also Komi. Another swipe of one. <laughs> From the French team. This is going to no be chance. an interesting one. Yeah, no five chance nil, for the five Polish nil. girl to get out of this. No chance. No. I did, there's an obvious weight difference here as well. <laughs> Even though they're both plus 70. And the, old, the bigger girl.
So that's a 5 0 uh, win for France against Poland. And they now have a semi final match up with Slovenia. They also cleaned up the map with 5 0, so it's going to be a really tough one. I'm looking forward to that. Right, who do we got next? We, we're going to move on 